When you flip through the house app or through design magazines, have you ever noticed that you never see a TV in any of those fancy rooms? Why not? Because those big, empty, dark screens are a major downer when it comes to design. I'm Erin for TechGadgetsCanada.com and Best Buy Canada's blog, and Samsung has been working on this very problem. Why do TVs need to go dark when they're not in use? Now they don't have to. Samsung's new QLED TVs, including the 2019 Samsung 8K Q900R QLED TV, whew, have something called ambient mode. So what is ambient mode? How does it work? And how can you customize it for your home? Let's find that out, but an early heads up that if you end up liking this video and finding it helpful, please hit that like button and consider subscribing because it does help us keep making more videos that we hope everyone out there can watch, enjoy, and learn from. So what is ambient mode? The gist of ambient mode on your QLED TV is that you can make your TV look like art when you're not watching it. Ambient mode uses your TV screen to display video or visual decor, weather information, and new to the 2019 QLED 8K TV from Samsung, artwork and breathtaking photography. It can basically turn your TV into a window or a bit of art instead of a black hole. You can also take a photo of the wall behind your TV and use that as your TV's background so it blends blends in seamlessly. So here's what ambient mode looks like. You can essentially push the button on the one remote that gives you quick access to the ambient mode feature. From there, there's all kinds of different options or tabs along the bottom here. Special edition gives you some really cool, uh, almost neon lighting effects. As you flip through, there's also decor, which gives you some more, I would say, natural elements. You can get trees, butterflies, that kind of thing. My album, of course, lets you use your own photos into the screensaver. Info gives you really cool options like displaying the time or a really neat globe effect that'll sort of encompass the weather inside that little globe, that glass circle. Artwork has some really great options for high resolution photography that will sort of fill the screen here and just give you something really nice to look at. Next tab up is something called background themes. And this is a really cool option for ambient mode that essentially lets you match the color of your TV to the room and to your decor. So you can set it to be something sort of more generic, beige, white, whatever you want. I also had some options in here that uh, allowed me to match the sort of blue, gray, turquoisey color of my walls in my media room. So pretty much no matter the kind of ambient mode you want to see, there's plenty of options here. You can also customize these backgrounds to an amazing degree. Almost every ambient setting lets you adjust things like the shadows, color saturation, brightness, and more. If you press the ambient button when the TV is turned off, the TV will turn on in ambient mode. You can also use the Samsung SmartThings app to control the TV and make precise adjustments to any of those settings or any of those modes. If you have something like wallpaper or a brick wall behind your TV, or you just want it to disappear when it's not in use, Background Theme lets you take a photo of the wall behind or beside the TV, and then you can upload that to align it perfectly with the wall. Here in my testing area, I have a projector screen behind the TV at the moment, so it wasn't super conducive to blending in, but I was able to get it to mimic the overall wall color of the room and kind of the shade of the screen, so there were options for blending. The TV has a no burn in guarantee in case you're wondering if the ambient mode feature might ruin your TV, and it uses about 30% of the energy the TV does when it's fully in use. If you want to read more about this great feature, you can head over to blog.bestbuy.ca where we've got a full write-up posted. You can ask us any questions you have either there on the blog or as always here on the YouTube channel. You can also check out the full review of the 2019 Samsung 8K QLED TV, the Q900R model, as well as our videos about upscaling processes on this TV that means you get more 8K content out of it too. Thanks for watching. I'm Erin. You can catch me on Twitter or Instagram until the next time at ErinLYYC. You can also find me at facebook.com slash techgadgetscanada.